I can do that easily. They were close, but not there yet. <laughs> Finally done. Yeah, that wasn't that hard. I wouldn't really call myself a god of pixel art, but I thought I was pretty good. But these last two fish have proven me otherwise, okay? The lionfish I thought was hard enough. And then, you know, Drex sends me this guy, and I'm like, okay, this can't be too hard. And then I start working on it, and it was painful, man. I have never spent this much time on a piece of pixel art. Even my larger, more complex ones. No, no, no. This is the one I have spent the most time on. And my god, it was so dang satisfying to finish this thing. So let me just talk you guys through this. So in the start, I was going for a very basic design. You can see I've got the neon tetra next to it as sort of a comparison. And already you can see me fiddling and struggling with the finish. This fish has three very distinct fins at the top there and I was just having a terrible time with these. The tail fin wasn't that bad, and the uh, fins along the bottom weren't that hard either, but man, you can just see me like switching around with these as well. Now, one of the biggest problems I encountered with this fish was the coloration. Now, what I do, as I mentioned in the lionfish video, I will often just straight up use the uh, color picker tool in MS Paint to take the colors from the fish and then apply those to the pixel art I'm working on. And while that normally works, there is the problem of lighting. And this is something you guys might want to keep in mind if you're doing this yourselves. If you look at, I'll show Hoots on screen right now, this little puffer fish. There is a purple version. I'm sure someone's probably wondered why. The answer is the original pixel art was created from a photo that was sent to me. And in that photo, the tank had a blue light on, which was giving him, you know, a purplish hue. Even though it wasn't super obvious in the picture, once you extract the colors, that's what you would get. And sometimes those colors either aren't going to be the ones you want or aren't going to be the ones that will really work. And that's what I encountered here. You can see me using the green in this photo and it is just not working well. I'm trying to capture that red and the green as well as the yellows and like the black and the finage and it is just not working well. He looks like a jumbled mess of like mustard, ketchup, and relish here and it is just awful. Now I continued to work with these colors for quite a while before you know deciding on what could possibly be better and you can see me applying a darker sort of outline here and I was actually making a pretty common mistake here called pillow shading where you basically shade from the outside in and it's just generally not a good idea because it doesn't really give you a defined light source and I was kind of just doing that because I really did not know how to detail this fish. This was the same kind of problem I was having with the lionfish where I was like trying to make it accurate but then I had to compensate for detail and then I was like okay my details are inaccurate and then I was just kind of struggling with all that kind of stuff. Now you can see I just shaved off the fins. I was not happy with the fins. I tried, you know, making them mostly black. I tried making them mostly yellow, but nothing really seemed right. And I was also not happy with the shape of the fish. The fish is a very sort of, I don't know how to really describe it, but you can, it has a very like distinct face to it. I mean, not distinct to the fish itself, but distinct like compared to some other fish. And I was just not capturing that very well. But after a bit of editing, you can see I kind of got a bit closer to it. Now here's when I started to change things. I found this different reference, reference image and I started to work with it. I thought maybe these colors, you know, these colors just aren't working. I'm not happy with the green. What if I try something different? And then from this new reference image, I was extracting the colors again, and I was trying to work on the shape a bit better and also decide what colors would be best. Now you can see I switched between a bluish and a pinkish color, which were both present in that little pixelated image I took from the internet up there. And you can see already it's starting to look a bit better. It's not perfect, but it is already improving. It's looking a lot more appealing. For sure. The green just wasn't working, even if, you know, the green may have been accurate to that one photo, it just wasn't working very well. Now, as I mentioned before, I was struggling with the finage, and what I eventually decided to do, as you can see, I moved the fin to the side, you know, where it actually is. Because in that first image, his fins were a lot higher, so they looked like they were on the top, but in reality, these fins are actually along the side, which, you know, makes sense. You know, most fish don't have no fins on their side, so... That was kind of obvious and it was a mistake on my part. I also shaded the fins a bit better. I kept the dark green in their fins because I thought it was a better color, but I just think the fish was improving at this point. I think it was looking really good. Now, this fish was, I want to say, the opposite of the lionfish in a sense that with the lionfish, I scaled down to try and make it more appealing and more consistent with my other style of my normal pixel art, but in the end, I ended up going with the default design that I had been working on the whole time. With this fish, I did not do that. I finished and I scaled it down and I was more happy with that design than the one I had created initially and you know I think that detail brings up a good point in that sometimes it might actually be a good idea to work 
You know, your details might not be working with the fish you created at a certain scale. So what you do is create it at a larger scale, but then scale it down and then fix up the details as you can see I'm doing here. The larger fish, uh, the second iteration, if you will, has more detail than the first one because I worked at a slightly larger scale. However, after scaling it down and then spending you know a decent amount of time fixing the mistakes and stuff that didn't look proper, it ultimately ended up as the more appealing design out of the three. It's got that simplicity that is you know characteristic of my fish pixel art, and it's not you know super clunky and big, and it has all those details you want. You know, it's got the yellow, it's got the greenish black parts in the finnage, and it's got the red sort of belly. And you know what? Overall. I think the three hours or so I spent on this thing ended up being worth it in the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.